Hello everyone, I'm Professor Geek. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, yeah, I wanted to take a few minutes just to say a few things before the book study starts that I'm going to actually going to cut this out and make it its own video. Uh, people have been asking me, Prof, where'd you go? Where, where, where are the videos? You, you're not you're posting anything. What are, you, are you kidding me? You're not, what are you going to say about the Batman? Come on, this, this, and that, you know, what, what are you saying? Did you see that trailer for the Kamala Khan, you know, Miss Marvel? What, what do you, what do you think? What do you think? Let me try to let me try to come at this with a, with a different way of, of why I do think that it's important, as I've always said, to call out the garbage. I do still think that uh, I'm going to pick on him for a second here. But just as a way of illustrating, because my buddy Big Al, he's he's my best friend. I was just at his house yesterday, hanging out with him, watching movies. He's about to come in right now on my own stream. And we're going to talk about a book that we both dearly love. And we're going to talk about our love for this book. You can still be friends with people you disagree with. So I just want to say that to illustrate that. But now the little part to pick on him. Al has adopted this new tag phrase at the end of his videos or streams where he says, and don't let anybody tell you that what you like is stupid. Or don't let anybody tell you that you shouldn't like what you want to like and this and that. That's his new catchphrase. Okay. Fine. That's his catchphrase. I could not disagree with that man more about the very basic foundation of that sentiment. You people need to be told that some of the stuff you're watching is stupid and that it's garbage. And yeah, I hope you do feel bad for watching it because it's bad for you and it's bad for society. If somebody's eating Twinkies for dinner and that's all they're eating, you tell me that no one should go say, oh, it's actually not good for you. That's not good to be eating Twinkies for dinner. Uh, you know, it's, it's keep doing it. It's going to be bad for society because of the obesity, you know, epidemic and all this kind of stuff. Uh, yeah, I, I couldn't disagree with him more. Now, I love Al to pieces. He does his thing. That's great. It's wonderful. But I'm pointing this out and coming at this, this answer to answer where I've been lately and why I don't post regularly about some of these big issues that, you know, normally I would have posted so much about, uh, updated so many videos about. I do believe it's important to call out the garbage, but what I've come to realize now is that continually calling out the garbage on a regular basis is counterintuitive and it doesn't, it, because of the way fans are consuming and responding to current material, continuously calling it out only helps the new material. You know, for a while there, it really did seem like we truly did have a a chance. There were movements, counter movements in comics, counter movements against Star Wars. You know, you had fandom menaces, you know, and the, the equivalents popping up in all these other genres and uh, our mediums and, and different things. And it really was, I mean, th things were happening. We, we saw some changes occurring. It was like, oh man, we could, we could actually, you know, get this fixed. Maybe, you know, at some point in the future, when the tendrils of the tentacles of cancers were cut out, we could actually get some change. But then the overall overall majority of fans were bought off. They were simply, they just came back. They decided they couldn't do without the new content. They couldn't do without, so they were willing to compromise left and right. Then there were, you know, because fans felt bad about compromising left and right and all over the place, then they started to get behind these silly narratives of, well, you know, there are forces at work that are on our side. And if we just keep, keep supporting this, but not supporting that, you know, and I'll say things like what, how can you, if you sat there and squeed all over yourself because Spider-Man No Way Home was amazing. Don't tell me how bad the Kamala Khan Disney plus series looks. Cause you did that. You did that. No, no, I didn't. I'm going to support the good stuff and just not support the bad stuff grow up that's not how any of this works anymore they don't need you to support the bad stuff they don't need kamala khan disney plus series to have overwhelming numbers because they've got the funding and the approval from you for the mcu for all the squeeing and support you gave no way home and really what was no way home they threw a couple member berries at you oh i got to see toby and andrew and it was great and all of that was to support little cucked out MCU Peter with his with his gender diversity MJ telling him what to do and how to feel and where to go and what to do. That's that's what you can't stop can't stop consuming. I've seen uh you know it's come out, they've done interviews. Ewan McGregor has come out and said, I was reading Al a quote last night. He's like, shut up, I'm gonna watch it anyway. It's like, I know you are, I know you are, you do you. But there's a quote from Ewan McGregor talking about this Obi-Wan series 
this Kenobi series where he says, yeah, this Obi-Wan is really broken. He's really broken and he's, uh, you know, he just doesn't know where to go. And it, the wording was horrible. And basically it was everything I said the series would be. He's going to be doing his man penance. Uh, but the Jedi were evil. I'm bad because I'm a white straight man. Oh, you know, please, Mama Ahsoka, come show me the way. Or other female figures, you know, come show me the way. It's going to be this, uh, you know, heavy handed nonsense uh, approach. And I've seen comments from people who are trying to sort of pretend to look discerning. And uh, Sound Engravers pointed out her channel, too, where they say, that's it. If they get this wrong, Kenobi means so much to me, guys. If they get this wrong, I am finally done with this. No, you're not. No, you're not. You're addicted. You're addicted like a like a crack whore. You are addicted to new content. You will snort that new content off a bathroom floor. You, you can't help it. You're going to go watch it. You're going to go watch it. Even if you don't like it, it's making you so mad. So I need to go see what all my favorite YouTubers are saying about it. And and yeah, 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 they watched it for me. They watched it. That sounds pretty bad, though. I think I'm watching it myself just to see how bad it is, you know, of course. You're addicted. You don't care about Star Wars. You don't care about Superman telling me that Lois and Clark's actually a good show. You don't care about these characters or their stories. You care about community. You care about the community experience of the fandom. You want, you desperately need that relevant new current hashtag and that conversation being had about these franchises in social media at that moment that you can go feel like you're part of a community reacting against like, oh, did you see the new, did you see the new episode of Boba Fett? I saw the new Boba Fett, Boba Fett. We're the same. You know, that's what people want. And they've, they've, for a while there, they were able to hold out because the content got so bad. And now Hollywood has gotten smarter and they know, oh, well, we just have to sort of veil our agenda a little bit or throw them a few bones to keep them happy. And everything's fine. We can keep doing what we do. And the problem, somebody who likes that stuff might say, well, what do I care? I got, I'm happy with the bones. I got the bones. I'm happy with the bones they give me. So why do I care? Because those bones aren't really the true content, you know, if you were to say, you know, what would be a perfect real deal Spider-Man film that you could have from the scratch or whatever, you know, you'll never get that because you're happy with the bones. The nature of that bone is, is, is all is the best you will ever get. And people say, well, Boba Fett, you know, I mean, it had its problems, but it was some good stuff to enjoy. Okay. We'll really enjoy the heck out of it because that's all you'll ever get. The Batman is not the Batman. How can you say that prophecy? He redeems himself at the end. That's not the archetype. And so that's the last thing I'll say here is that some people say, well, Prof, why don't you just come back and do those archetype videos? Come come back to us, Prof. Give us your, your knowledge about archetype. Stop being so grumpy and stop being... What's the point? What's the good of doing archetype videos if no one listens? No one listens. No one. <laughs> not Hollywood. Not people who view and support and, and go out and consume Hollywood. No one cares. No one's paying attention. I do still hold to the fact that, you know, I had that wonderful quote, and maybe I'll have that in the replay when I cut this out as a video, where it's talking about Superman. It was like Tulpa Superman, so to speak, you know, will reassert himself every so often because wrongheaded views about the character does come in every now and then. And I think something on to some degree that can be said about Star Wars, about Marvel heroes, about everybody, you know. But the fandom. Those who run out to consume this stuff have shown us that that time where that reassertion of the real characters and the real versions is so far away now. It didn't have to be. It was pretty close or closer than it is now anyway. But the fans inability to not consume has has just purchased Disney and Hollywood itself and Warner Brothers has purchased them a long, long extension of doing whatever they want to. They, they've got that now. They've got that now. And you did that. You gave that to them. So enjoy those bones. But the bones are all you're going to get. Tasty, yummy, yummy, tasty bones. I hope they are because that's all you'll ever get in terms of good. It's not getting better. Pull your head out of the sand. Stop pretending and buying into these false narratives of a civil war. And I'm not just talking about Star Wars. They've got these narratives going on. It's uh, Marvel now, too, and everything. It's just not going to happen. That doesn't mean that I'm not going to ever come back and make a video. Uh, calling this out, you know, like when the Kenobi series comes out, you darn straight, I'm going to do an I told you so video. <laughs> you know, um, Other than that, though, I'm going to continue with these book studies because, like I said, somebody's got to keep showing the true, true blue Disney EU uh, content that we have that everybody just pretends to, oh, it's a book, I got to read it. I just want to watch something, you know, got to keep shining the light on that. 
and that's something that even Al and I can agree on. He loves the the books, you know, even if he likes the other stuff, he likes these books, you know, so we can talk about those. Um, and I'll also keep doing, uh, yeah, I'd like to do an updated video soon on my collection. My EU collection is grown books and everything like that and uh, helping people to grow in that. Uh, you know, I might come back and do some writing videos here and there. Other than that, I'm pretty much doing most of my content over on my other channel, the Catholic Bible Geek channel, doing uh, Bible related stuff. Um, because, yeah, I just don't see the point. I don't see the effectiveness or um, that me continuing to berate it. I would just fall in line with some of these other YouTubers who are just making bank off of your rage. You know, they're, they're it, by continuously doing videos about this, that I don't care if it's Tolkien. I don't care if it's whatever Spider-Man or whatever. They're they're just drawing more attention to it, promoting it more. It's not going anywhere because the fans themselves won't stop consuming it. So uh, so I think constantly pointing out the problems isn't doing any good anymore so uh so that's why my rate of videos in this channel is is falling down a bit doesn't mean i'm gone i'm still coming back doing these uh eu studies which are at least regular and i'll be back with other content as i get around to it so that's all of that. and the thing is too it's not like it like al i'm not holding a knife to your throat telling you not to watch this or that you know some people i live rent free in so many people's heads they're like proof shouldn't be saying that i'm like there's the x button right up there you can just click on yeah. that and i, do, I go away I go away. You never have to deal with me again. You know?